Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. We are back in our world, finally home from our adventures that we have been on recently. By the way, before we continue, I actually streamed my way back here to the base. So if you didn't watch that and are interested in more of that stuff, be sure to subscribe and enable those notifications if you haven't done already. But anyways, let us get to it. I have a pretty exciting project for today. We will be building the Patreon wall, yes. If you didn't know and didn't watch my update video here for 500 subscribers, I opened a Patreon, link down below if you want to check it out. But anyways, tier 2, one of the rewards is that you will get put on my Patreon wall here in my Minecraft survival series. Now you may be asking or saying, but you don't have a Patreon wall. Well that's what we will be doing today. And it is actually two projects in one. One. We're gonna build a whole new bridge over there. That will come later in the video. I have installed the replay mod, so you will be able to watch time lapse of me building stuff a lot better than just watching me building stuff. Um, so that is one of the projects. But the other project is building the actual wall, and I think I have a pretty good design for it. And I'm actually very excited about doing it and building it, so let's get to it. Now I have already pre-built a little bit of a small one block bridge here just so we can get back and forth easily especially if I forget something I don't think I've forgotten anything so let's just get right over here as you can see I've placed some torches here already marking out the area this is going to be like our little landing platform because this will actually be real here moving all the way up here and then parking over here and then the plan is also to have the path going from that bridge over there going all the way over here boop over here and this is where the patron wall will be. So it will have its, its nice little own area we can go and visit every now and again. And we can actually see it from the base. It has a pretty good view from the bridge and the base and the everywhere. So that is good. Now it's not only going to be a wall. There's actually also going to be some redstone mechanics as well. So if I just open up the project box here you can see we have some gravel we have some sand we have some dispensers and some redstone exciting stuff we also have some dyes up here well it's not dyes yet but it will be and i just cleared an area here also get out of here also i did make a diamond shovel efficiency 4 on breaking 3 and i put a mending book on there we could always get more mending books we have tons upon tons of diamonds so we're good anyways let us get started the main um, the main building block with, for this build is going to be concrete, so we will be needing to make some concrete. Now, let me just open up how much of each block I need. There's three different colors that I need. Hold on. I have the exact block count right here, so the colors that we will be needing is going to be... Let me just make all of these ready. We will be needing 38 orange uh, concrete. So, what we need to do is combine yellow and red to make orange dye. And that is, each operation will be, for one die, we will get 8 uh, concrete powder. So that will be 8, 16, so that is 16 right there. So we need that many, I believe. And then just put some gravel in here and some sand in here. And so that is going to be 8, 16, 32, and right there should be plenty. So we could just do that. I don't know if you could just put one of that and one of that. No, it has to be four gravel, four sand, and a die. All right, that is good. We will need that orange die later on. Because these dispensers, I'm going to bring it to you already now. It is going to be for some fireworks show we will be setting up. So for each new patron, we will have a button where we will put the name on the sign and click the button and huge fireworks will appear in the sky. That is going to be pretty epic. Anyways, that is that. Now we need some gray. And I did forget something, so now I'm happy this bridge is here because I forgot the white die. I meant to pick up the bone meal from the compost row here that I had set with some seeds and stuff. So let's just take that. And I've been mining, mining, harvesting my melons and beetroot to get some extra um, composting going. So we have the white die. But what we are going to be making with the white die is both white concrete and also uh, gray concrete. So let me just put this here and that there. So we will need 46 white concrete powder. So like so. 46. So one more. There we go. And I have plenty of sand, so that's good. I was afraid that I didn't have enough, but it seems like I do. Now we need two stacks of gray concrete. So that is 16, 32. 
So that's one stack, and then we need 16 in total. There we go. And then we just need... Oh, I don't have enough gravel. Oh, don't have enough gravel. Okay then, give me just a minute. Uh, I thought I had enough. All right, now I should have enough gravel, so just do that. And there we go, that is all the concrete powder that we will need for this project. We will keep the dice in here, because once again, we will be needing them. All right, so if you don't know how to make the actual concrete, it is about time that I show you. So, what you do is, well, you just saw me make this white concrete powder. Works kind of like sand, just like that. It falls. It actually has a gravity rule, unlike pretty much every other block in Minecraft. <laughs> and the way you make it into concrete is basically just let it have contact with water and it instantly becomes this white concrete block. Now that water is just gonna be annoying. Let me do that. Let me get some more water here and let me make a quick infinite water source that we can sit in here. The easiest way to do this is probably just to equip this in your offhand, take the pickaxe, keep right clicking like this, so keep right clicking. If I do it like this, then it will come there. So if I stand in front of it like so and hold down right click and just do this, I just, I'm just holding down both mouse buttons and this is probably the easiest and most simplest way of doing it. So I'm gonna just keep doing this until we have all the uh, concrete that we need and then I will be right back with you. And that is all of the concrete powder turned into actual concrete. Now there is one thing that I actually forgot to bring. So let me just hit home, get it, I'll show you what it is and then we can actually start building. All right, I now have what I need. It is the polished andesite stairs. It doesn't need to be those, but I just like to use those. I think they look pretty in this build. So that is what we're going with. And my cobblestone, because we do need, I think it's like eight just random blocks. It could be dirt, it could be cobblestone, it could be wood, it could be anything. Also, I did want to put this bamboo here to grow because I do need some scaffolding for the bridge that will make my life a lot easier. So if that can just grow there, that will be just fine. Let us take all of this stuff and start building. So we're gonna put some uh, gray concrete right here, go up four, and then we're just basically gonna go all the way over like this, over to the other torch, and this is 12 blocks long. So just like this, and this L, this in here will be all orange concrete. Now I specifically, specifically went for the Patreon colors that they had in their branding. So I tried as well as I could with the gray and white and orange concrete. And to be honest, I think it actually looks pretty super, super cool. So yeah, let's continue with this. Now this is going to be a bit interesting because I can't remember how long it had to be. All right, I am back. It is. It has to be nine from this, this one right here, that one. It has to be nine from there up. So this is one. Uh, one, two, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then move over, and then nine on the other side as well. And then we can begin on the actual inside of the logo. Okay, my apologies. I did something terribly wrong. I was speaking about things going smoothly, but no, things are not going smoothly as they should. <laughs> Uh, do. Let me just do this right here. This is how it should be. And let me remove this because that isn't right and put that right there. Now this stuff will make sense in just a little bit. Now this is the right height and the right width and everything. My apologies. I should have wrote down the numbers easier, but I, I knew what it was, but um... Yeah, I, I could have done a better job. But anyways, that is how that should be. Now, if we head up over here, we need white concrete in all of that. So let's just do that right away. And around as well, all the way around. Now we will put a white border over there. Then we will need the orange concrete once again. Put it like so, and like so, like so. And we actually do need to get down one more level here. So build it like so like that and like that. And hopefully you can see it taking shape already. So there we have the Patreon uh, circle, ball, whatever you wanna call it in there. All right, that is the front done. And yes, I say the front because 
now it's the redstone part. <laughs> all right, there we go. That is pretty much that. All we need now is actually a button, and I don't have any stone, so it has to be a wooden button. And that put right there. Let me just remove this cobblestone and we can see how it actually looks. I quite like this. The idea is that every single person will get a sign here on the wall. So one, two, three, four. Not multiple names per sign, just one name per sign. And if we need it, we can then expand this further down if we need to. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. And this button can always be removed. Now it's on to the redstone magic. Now this is going to be the fun part. So we're going to use some cobblestone here just because we don't really need anything else. So if we put the cobblestone like so, we will put a redstone dust here. We will put the dispensers facing up like so, all eight of them over here like so. Then we will put the polished andesite to just cover the ugly cobblestone here. We will then use the gray concrete just to go like this on both sides here like so. Then we will take a redstone repeater and put it towards the dispenser one by one. There we go. And the last repeater will be put right there. Then we will read, read. Then we will lead a redstone dust over to this repeater, and then continue down this line like so. Now each on each button press, click all the dispensers will fire. Now what we will do is put andesite stairs, hold shift and right click on the repeaters. To put the andesite stairs on top like so put this here put this here and then just pretty much surround this gray this redstone with the great concrete just like so and like this now actually i do need to wait with that because there is actually um i do need to set up some ticks here with these repeaters so if i just cover this and do so and let me just take a look at how the repeaters should set and we will continue alrighty so this one we put all the way back this one one two then the middle two these two right here so one two one two and the last one one two just because that adds a little bit of an extra effect when the fireworks get shot and then just do this like so and we even have some extra gray concrete left all right that is pretty much the machine right there the machine so to say we still do need to make the fireworks and for that i do need some more colors so i do have the yellow i do have the red i do have the white i do have the orange we will actually need a bit more orange than that there we go let me just make some colors here for us and then i will be right back with you okay so i'm back just because this is a little bit complicated and i want to show you what on earth i'm doing basically right now i am making some fire charges oh wait that's there we go okay cool i'm basically right now making some fire charges for us to make even bigger exploding uh firework balls so what I want to do, this is, these are the colors that I want to use. So one fire charge and one gunpowder and one color equals one large ball, which is exactly what we want. So I want at least one of each of these colors. So let me just make these. I do believe we have enough resources to go about making two of each. All right, there we go. This is all the spare die we don't need right now now let me just put this away for now all right so these are the ones that we are gonna use then we will convert all of that into paper like so put that there put the gunpowder there because that will give it flight duration too which is what i think fits perfectly with what we're making and then now we're just making the fireball Sorry, the firework. Hopefully I have enough gunpowder for this. Otherwise I will have to go to the mob grinder. And that is quite a trip, I think. Yes, I have enough. Yay. <laughs> yes, I did it right. So now we have flight duration, two rockets, large ball. And then we have lime, blue, red, magenta, yellow, light blue, orange, and pink. The colors that I wanted. I did try with going with... Um, with the patreon color so white and orange only 
but I thought that looked a little bit eh, boring. So I went with something a little bit more festive because it deserves to be very, very festive. So that is what I went with and I think it looks pretty cool. Let's go and load up the dispensers. I just came up from the staircase here and we already see the patron wall and I absolutely love how that looks. I just wanted to point that out. That looks so cool. Red, there we go. The, all the dispensers are now filled up. Over here we have blue, orange, magenta, light blue, yellow, lime, pink and red. Perfect. Let's patch that up right there. Uh, I kind of want to fix that. Do we have two extra? Yes, we do indeed. Just do that. There we go. Just so it looks a little bit nicer. There we go. That is that. Now, once we punch this button right here, it will fire up some fireworks. But I think we should do it at night time. I'm just thinking whether or not to build the bridge because that will be a time lapse. It will be really quickly, only a couple of minutes. And then we will put the people on there. I think we will do that. Also, I think you will see me. Um, finish this path here once the bridge is done because yeah, that's yeah It needs it needs to look like it needs to look look alive and nice over here All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and build the bridge These are all the materials that I've prepared for it bunch of brown terracotta and yeah, you can see the rest So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Enjoy the time-lapse.
right, we are done with the bridge and the um, flooring at the Patreon wall over there, the landing station or whatever you want to call it. Let us take a short tour, shall we? So this is the bridge. Let me just jump, jump and jump over here where we can get a good view. Look at that. I quite like how this turned out, actually. It wasn't actually that difficult to build once I actually got the hang of it. Plus, maybe because I practiced in creative, maybe that helped as well. But I'm happy how this turned out. Um, so yeah, that is pretty cool. I also like how it goes by the farm here. And I like the idea of having multiple bridges going to these mountains here, connecting them. I think that is pretty cool. So yeah, I like how that turned out. Let us take a uh, trip with the minecart here. I changed this uh, setup a little bit. Um, it should be doable to just push it around. So when we want to go that way, we could just push it a little bit. I might figure out another system for that. Also, if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. But let's turn this thing on and go over there. This is loud. <laughs> this is loud. I'm sorry. Let's go over here. Going over and... There we go, parking space right there. So here we have the landing area, this, the train station if you want to call it. And here we have the, of course, the Patreon wall. I'm not sure about this out here, if it should be the core start or if it should be some wood maybe going going here on the edges of the floor here. I don't know yet. Um, also, I'm not too sure about the lighting here. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Though over here, I know it looks a little bit bare right now, but I do actually, I think I do have a few plans with this area with coarse dirt. As you can see, I try and make it to make a little path looking like area with like normal dirt and coarse dirt mixing together. My original plan was to have a wooden path going from up there and then going straight down here. But I think a nice nature dirt gravel path thingy thing would actually look a lot nicer also because I have some visions I think for this this whole like area outside of the patron wall here so yeah I don't know if I'll be making that off camera or maybe in a stream that is something potential I don't know I'll have to decide that but um I, I have plans with this so don't worry about this it will get to look a lot better eventually once I get around to doing that Anyways, I'm gonna wait for a night time because we have a Patreon to put on the wall, which is why I have the sign right here. Also, I added this sign saying yeet because that's this button is the button we press to fire the fireworks. So yeah, that is pretty cool. I'm pretty happy how this turned out. I hope it is it was a cool episode as well. Now don't go yet, it's not away yet. We need to put a sign over there. So I'll be back with you once it's night time and we can actually see the fireworks in its full colors. So, be right back. Alright, it is night time. We have a nice, beautiful night sky. The moon is coming up and the sun is going down. I did add some fences here just to make it a little bit more secure so we don't risk a creeper spawning over there. Over there and coming over, saying hi. Though I do realize that they can jump over this block right here, so I'll have to do something about that. But you know what? It 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 it, it, it still feels a little bit more secure. All right. But enough of that nonsense. That security will be fine. It is time to put our first person here on the wall. Prince Ice, thank you very much for becoming a tier 2 supporter on my Patreon. Greatly, greatly appreciated. And just a general thanks to all the people on, gener on Patreon. I say all, currently there too. But thank you very much for the support. Greatly, greatly appreciated. If you're interested, link down below in the description. But special thanks to Prince Ice for becoming a tier 2 supporter. And this zombie is going to be a problem. Get out of here. This is, this, is, this is special grounds. No mobs allowed. All right. I think we're ready. Three, two, one. Let's press the button and fire the fireworks. Look at that. Yay! That I love those colors. They're so bright and they fit perfectly. I think that looked pretty amazing. Let me just get that XP here and that run flash. That run flash does not deserve to be on these grounds. Yay! That didn't go far. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Also, I hope you enjoyed the new uh, kind of like time build time lapse I did with... Um, with the replay mod, I hope you actually liked it. And if you did, be sure to let me know down in the comments because I can do more of that stuff. I'm planning to do more of that stuff, so I hope you really like it. There's another zombie around here. He's down there somewhere. Um, but yes, I hope everything turned out nicely. If you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. As I said, I'm not too sure about this, nor am I too sure about the lighting. 
So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below if I could make anything look better. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and enable those notifications and leave a like on the video. Also comment down below that, I don't know, that comment nice video, I don't know, comment something. Also share it with your friends, very very important of course, friends, family, all that good stuff. Join my Discord server, link down below, follow me on Twitch for live streams, I might actually stream some of this world on my Twitch, so make sure you are followed so you don't miss that. Also follow me on Twitter and that's about it, am I forgetting anything? Of course, my Patreon page is linked down below as well. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this one, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day, I'm gonna go sleep because it's uh... I don't want this place getting destroyed by a creep right OC, so have a go. Uh, actually, let's ride the train back. Train, my card thing. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Wow, that, that was... No, 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 no. No. Retake. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Yay! There we go. That's a little better. See ya! Whee! Goodbye, zombie!